Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. Well, it might have been cold in Philadelphia for that parade, but we are getting a warm up close to St. Patrick's Day, so I'm assuming people, at least in the New England region, might get lucky. Yeah, at least here, um, St. Patrick's Day is looking very mild. Uh, could get up near 60 that day. I'll talk about that in just a minute. Wanted to take you out live to Church Street right now. Uh, some snow equipment there, uh, cleaning up some of the snow from yesterday. Not too many people walking around, though. It's pretty chilly out there right now, 26 degrees. Only uh, good part about that is the wind is fairly light out there. And temperatures aren't too bad around the area. 26 here in the Queen City, 23 in Essex, 17 in Lake Placid. Some teens up there in the Northeast Kingdom, but mid-20s down in the Upper Valley. And Storm Tracker shows a few snow showers coming off Lake Ontario, trying to move east into our area, but I don't think they will really do so. They'll kind of break apart. And you could see some more snow showers if we zoom out. This is all going to be part of a, a couple of systems that will impact us the next couple of days. We'll have some rain snow showers early this week, especially Monday night into Tuesday, though little to no accumulations expected in the valley. I think it's going to be a little bit too warm for that. But all of us warm up late week. Temps could approach 60 by the time we head to St. Patrick's Day. So quite a roller coaster in temperatures Monday and Tuesday in the 40s here, getting up to near 50 on Wednesday and near 60 Thursday and Friday, especially if we see enough sunshine, I think we could even go above 60. So even after next week, here's the outlook from the CPC, and our temperatures look to continue the above average trend. So certainly looks like spring is here to stay at least for a little while. But first, we got to get through a little bit of snow before the mild temperatures. I'll time it out for you here on Futurecast. And you can see tonight there's a few flurries that try to sneak in. Doesn't look like it will have too much of an impact. And then the sun breaks out briefly tomorrow before more increasing clouds in the evening. And notice by 10, we get some of this uh, snow shower activity moving into northern New York and northern Vermont. In the Champlain Valley, I think it'll be a little bit too warm for any accumulation. Could even see some raindrops mixed in there. And notice how this whole boundary kind of sinks south as we head through Tuesday. But I think we'll see another round of snow showers Tuesday evening as the warm front finally pushes through our area, giving us those milder temperatures for Wednesday. But first, total snowfall not looking too impressive here in the Champlain Valley. Maybe a dusting to as much as a half an inch. But one to three looking lightly in the Northeast Kingdom as well as parts of Clinton, Essex, and Franklin counties in New York. Some spots could even see a little bit higher than three inches. So tonight we have a few flurries moving through, mostly cloudy skies down to the mid-20s here in the Champlain Valley. Some teens in the normally colder spots, but tomorrow is a fairly nice day. We'll get up to the mid-40s in the Champlain Valley, maybe even touching 50 down in Brattleboro. And there will be some sunshine in the morning with some light winds, though I think clouds will tend to increase as we head toward the afternoon. And Tuesday we have those snow and rain showers before much quieter and milder weather comes for us on, th on St. Patrick's Day, getting to near 60 Thursday and Friday. So certainly great weather for any of those St. Patrick's Day festivities out there on Church Street. Back to you, Carolyn.